Hi guys, Mitch Stark here again in the West Indies on tour. Uh, we're here now in Trinidad after the test in Barbados. I've got uh, Matty Wade here who, who made his test debut for Australia, number 428 I believe Matty. Um, how was it I guess getting your cap from Ricky? Yeah, it was awesome, obviously a, a surreal kind of feeling. Everyone grows up wanting to play cricket for Australia, so to get uh, cap presented by one of the greatest players that have played for Australia was uh, something that I'll never forget, definitely. It's obviously a good moment for you, and, and to get your, your first catch and your first runs for Australia, I guess uh, a, a breath of a breath of fresh or a relief, I guess. Yeah, definitely. Obviously, to get the first catch out of the way was a bit of relief. Uh, thanks to Peter Siddle to, to get a nick to come through and uh, take it cleanly. So yeah, it's always a relief to get a few in the gloves, and obviously the boys bowled bowled really well throughout the whole Test match, which was uh, good to see. Yeah, it was a very good test. Uh, like you said, the, the boys bowled very well and I guess we, we fought very hard to, to get that result. And um, As Jaya would say, we, we played the Australian way. Um, I guess what was your, your take on, on your first test and I guess the vibe around the team as opposed to maybe playing shield cricket? Yeah, it was obviously up in intensity, uh, as everything is, I suppose, when you take a step up. But uh, obviously we fought really hard for the first couple of days. They batted, they batted extremely well, I thought. And then obviously we scrapped hard at the end with, with a good partnership with Ryan Harris and obviously Gary Lyon down the end there with 40 not out. So, uh, and, then to, and then obviously the last couple of days it moved pretty fast. We bowled really, really well in the second innings. Stump to stump kind of stuff that, that we had to do and uh, got the result. And then the chase was obviously something that uh, we'll never forget, an awesome test match. And I'll, uh, I'll take it with me for Forever. I'm sure it's a great first test for you and as Matty kind of hinted there, he, we got there in the end and it was late on day five and, and Matty Wade and, and Mike Hussey almost got us home and um, Huss got out and Wade was there to finish it off. <laughs> um, and now we're here in Trinidad ahead of the second test and we, we caught up with the High Commissioner at his residence last night and Matty caught up with one of his heroes, Brian Lara. How was that for you? Yeah, it was surreal. I was, I, Pup, Pup was talking to him, so I suggested to Pup there's not many people in the world that you just look and uh, step back and take notice of, I suppose, and, and uh, wish you could meet. So he, Pup, Pup actually sent him over, so I had the, had the sweats going up. I didn't know what to say. I was lucky Sids was next to me to, to kind of uh, talk to him a little bit because I was mumbling along, but no, an awesome, an awesome experience to meet one of the best players ever to play the game. Very good. So we spoke to the, the few guys in the, the last few weeks about uh, a few of the activities around the West Indies. Uh, we've been in Barbados for a couple of weeks. Yep. Did you, you do anything over the, in Barbados? Uh, I was pretty quiet. I had my partner over, so there was a lot of sitting by the pool and uh, going for a swim in the ocean. There wasn't too much. A few walks down the road to get a lovely fish burger down the road, but there wasn't uh, too much activity from me. Just relaxing. That seems to be the order of the day over here is uh, sit by the pool and just uh, chill out. Very good. You don't get too much of it in the winter back home. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've been asked by a few people about, uh, I guess, your relationship with Payne. Yep. Uh, you grew up 100 metres from him back in uh, Tasmania before you, you moved, obviously moved to, to Victoria. Um, I guess, is it a coincidence that you, you're both wicket keepers and did you grow up learning much uh, from each other, I guess? Uh, yeah, it's a bit of a coincidence that it worked out that way. He lived down the road from me and uh, he knew my cousins pretty well, so that, there was a lot of backyard cricket that they played together and stuff like that. So. Uh, we played at the same local football club and uh, by the same local cricket club, so it was a little bit of a coincidence. No one really, I didn't expect this supposed to play for sure, that's for sure, but uh, no, it's pretty cool. Uh, well, hopefully, hopefully Payne's back, back in action playing some cricket soon, and I guess, uh, have you got anything interesting you can tell us about Timmy? I haven't got a lot on Payne actually, but he claims that he was one of the best AFL players to play out of, to come out of Tassie, and I can promise you that that's not the truth, that's about all I've got on him, but uh, no, nah, he's a good guy. Good. Well, we're heading into the, the second test here in Trinidad on, on uh, oh, Sunday. I can't even know what today is, but yeah, in a couple of days' time. So, in fact, today, today's been rained out and the ground's just behind us here um, down near the water. Um, so, uh, we had a bit of a look at the wicket today and unfortunately didn't get to do much training. We've had more of a, a rest day today. What is your take on the wicket, I guess? Uh, I didn't really have much of a look at it, but the talk around that it's it's going to be a difficult wicket, to especially bat on. I think it's going to be a slow, low wicket, much like probably the St Vincent wicket that we first played on in the One Day series. But uh, it's going to be hard to, hard work to, to get your runs, but uh, that's the way it is over here. So you just got to put up with it, and hopefully we can go uh, two 0 up in this series. Very good. Thanks, Matty, for joining us here. Uh, make sure you're following us here on cricket.com.au for, for the second test and again for the third test in Dominica. So thanks for joining us again and see you next time. Thanks, no worries, mate. Well done. Thank you.